So, is Excellency Turkey Lashik um as told Joshua that he'll be fighting um his next fight will be on uh, September 20 oh, 21st at Wembley Stadium. Joshua revealed this in an interview he did in Monaco. And Joshua also met with uh, Femi Otola and Adrian Pilonia, but with Monaco at the residence as well. And Joshua Joshua said that uh, he confirms date for his next for next fight and reveals Deontay Water is on four man list. Bro, this is mad right here. So according to the former two time unified heavyweight king of the universe. So when I asked about his next fight, he said it's gonna be in London, Wembley Stadium. Riyadh season is crazy to take. Basically, Riyadh season used to be used to be basically uh, a Saudi kingdom team, like basically done in the kingdom, and now it's been taken out to various to different various uh, countries. America being the first, and UK will be the second. Imagine Joshua fighting his own in his own turf, who backed by the South. That's crazy. But that's a, that's crazy. That's what I told you. These guys, they are making b- good, huge business deals and stuff. That you would think, oh, what are doing? You would think to yourself, how? Why? Boy, at the end of the day, they have they always have plans. He says, "This is what I'm being told. If that's what they say, they normally back their words. So let's go with that. Wembley Stadium, September 20th or 21st. Discussing, um, of course, it's uh, on June first. In Arabia, they have got the five v five card. Uh, you've got Philip Egovich versus Daniel Dubois, and you've got Zanjali against Deontay Wilder. So, providing one of the those looks good, the one who looks the best is Excellency. Okay, like Sheikh said to me, I want you to fight him. What he says is, in the future, I want people to look back at your record and say that you took on the best. I said, now you are speaking my language. So out of all that told, I believe that's who I'm going to be fighting. One of those. We are on the same page and is on the same page as the fans as well. He's trying to deliver what the fans want. I know they want that big fight with Tyson Fury and he's working on it. But Fury's got his obligations with Lazar Usyk. So I've got to make sure I stay focused and disciplined. Keep steam rolling through opponents so I can get closer and closer to having the benefit of me versus Fury. Oh, it's bro, that's just some of the things he said. I'm like amazed by this, bro. Wilder Joshua. I know that my old Joe doesn't f- have that excitement anymore. Hi, right, mate. You're right. But I think this is a a uh, big, big fight. Warren needs to get the job done, though. What do you think of this? Um, Maojo. See, I, to be honest with you, I'd rather see Joshua. I mean, the fight, if Wada defeats um, Zuli Zhang, I mean, it would depend on the, 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 the kind of victory as well. It will depend if it's you know a, a brutal knockout. Then we might start talking about Joshua Wilder again. Um, but personally, I think that that fight is going to pass itself by date, to be honest, because I truly now believe that Joshua will knock Wilder out, and it's going to be brutal. Um, Wilder is Wilder has become so poor. Joshua is going to see the right hand come all the time. He's going to see it. He will see it. And can Wilder, can you really take Joshua's combinations? Can you, can you, because Joshua will be the hardest puncher that Wilder has been there with. And not only can Joshua punch, Joshua is a damn good boxer. Joshua is even, I think now, based on what I saw, against even from franklin that fight was quite poor then he improved a little bit when he fought um nordic nightmare he improved better then when he fought 
um, Otto Walling. It was a total, it was a total whitewash. And then when we fought Mugano, Jesus, that was brutal. So I don't see anything that Wilder at this stage has got over Joshua. I can't seriously even I can't see speed. No, footwork. No, um, chain. No, I can't see it, and it's older as well. So that fight, I'm not really excited. You know, we we're all excited. We we're all looking forward to that fight. But I'm not excited anymore. I'd rather see Joshua fight somebody else, to be honest. But if Wilder, you know, gets through, if it's a big if, if he manages to get through Zilijan, I mean, I'm sure that's the fight they would want to make because the fight will be big. The fight will be, you know, people will talk about it. Although it won't be as big as it really could have been if they had done it a few years ago. But it's still going to be relatively big. The undercard is going to be stacked. People will be excited. Um, I would make every effort to go to Wembley to watch it live. Um, but yeah, I mean, let's see how it goes. But I'm not even, I don't even want to be talking about because I don't want to start getting excited again. And then while they're getting there again against Zilijang, and Zilijang just literally washes him out. So I don't want to start getting excited. I just want to be patient and see what's going to happen. But I've got, I love the plan. I like what Tokyo Alak Sheikh is doing and I love what the promise is given to Joshua. Um, let's see how this whole thing unfolds. Um, I'd rather personally, from a boxing standpoint, I'd rather see Joshua against, um, uh, not Daniel Dubois, um, the other guy. The guy who was fighting, um, what's his name again? I remind me, the guy who was fighting, uh, Philip Hergovic. Hergovic, I'd rather see Joshua Hergovic as opposed to, um, Joshua Wilder because Wilder is washed, man. I'm sorry, the guy is washed, he's washed, he's, he's, he's washed, completely washed. You know, Wilder getting in there with Joshua is going to be bad, it's going to be bad for Wilder. It's going to be very bad. I think it's going to be a brutal, absolute, brutal knockout. It's going to be very bad. It's going to be very bad. So, anyway, let's see how it all turns out, man. That's all i got to say. Thanks, bro. I'm sure taking this. Mao Joe. That was Mao Joe. It's Ty that needs to speak now. Oh, yeah, Mao Joe. <laughs> Sorry, Ty, bro. Something just, I just, our news just popped up. We'll talk about that very soon. Yeah, man. I, I, I just lost I just lost some concentration there. Ah, oh, shit. This is this is bad. Is it uh, Francis Ngannou news? Yeah, man. Silent, bro. Shit. Ah, uh, sorry, bro. Go, go, just talk, talk and then we we'll go to that. Uh, is, is it the Francis Ngannou news? Yeah, just, yeah, just, man. Uh, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? If you want to go, go talk, bro. I, I, that's very important, bro. What happened? This is crazy, man. So, uh, ah, I don't know what it means to lose someone like so. Basically, your blood, bro. At a very young age. Hi, right, now, wow. So, Francis and Gono said this on Instagram and Twitter and social media platform. He says, too soon to leave, but yet he's gone. My little boy, my maid, my partner, Kobe, was full of life and joy. Now he's laying with our life. I shouted his name over and over, but he's not responding. I was my best self next to him, and now I have no clue of who I am. Life is so unfair to eat us where it hurts the most. How do you deal with such a thing? How can you live with it? Please help me if you have an idea. I really don't know what to do and how to deal with this. Ngannou has lost his son. Man, this is crazy. So, shit. He lost his son? Yeah, man. I think it's all a year plus hold. Oh, my God. Yeah, man. Yeah. A year plus oh, hope, bro. Great, man. Oh, my God. Born 1st of... Uh, 1st of January... No, not 1st of January. 13th of January, uh, 2023. And oh, 
and passed away last night. No, two days ago. Two days ago. Bro, you know, I lost my younger bro, one of my younger brothers, my younger brother at the age, I think it was three. His name, his name was uh, I Sosa, you know. Meaning no one is above God. I remember playing with him the, the, even the day he passed away. So we played, I played with him and my mom wasn't around then playing and having fun and then he was he said he's tired he went to sleep and then didn't wake up so it's crazy bro so like it hits me very hard because i can really remember but it just hits me home in a, in a way oh shit. This is, this is, i tell you right now there's nothing that hurts more than like more than and do you know what, like, Ungonu is literally breaking down, man. He's breaking down. It's, he's saying now, what's the purpose of life if what we are fighting to and need to get away from is what finally he thought. He thought the hardest. Why is life so fair and messiless? Why does life always take what we don't have? I'm tired. I When I saw this tweet three hours ago, I was like, what is going on? What is he talking about? And then he posted this right here. This is hurtful, bro. One minute of silence. Oh, no. No. It's sad, bro. Ah, this, this, is, very, this is sad, bro. Oh, man. Sorry to... Uh, it's sad. It's sad. I, I, think, I think I'm done. It just hit me some way. It just hit me some way. Bro, you, you, yeah, it hit me some way because, you know, like... I just remember my my my, my young brother and, like, passed away. Like, at a very small age. Crazy, bro. Oh, my God. Man, I want to give you a big shout out to each and every one of you that support the channel. Uh, Ty, you have to give your last word. You know. I don't know if this, if you guys have experienced something like this before, but I guess we have lost love. We've lost, we've lost loved ones before, but have, it hurts have, the most well, when they're young. Yeah, I was just about to say that that when they're young is so unfair, so so unfair, so unfair. It's just, oh uh, man, I don't know what to say, guys. It's good yeah, man. Honestly. Yeah. Ty, your last word, bro. Oh, bro. Yeah, and, um, when I heard that news, I was still in shock. I didn't know how to break it down, but I'm glad you picked it up and. You had a moment of silence, man, because that right there, it's way, way too young. And man, I, I'm still like speechless, man. I, it's it's a difficult thing, bro. I'm just hoping my prayers goes out to Francis, bro. It's a difficult, difficult thing. Bro, how do you deal with such a loss, though? You can't, man, because that's it's hard. It's gonna be a for somebody as big as Francis. You can't. Everybody's gonna need to be around Francis right now. Everybody, all of his families, all his friends, all bro. His this guy is literally is like this is what he's fighting for, basically. Then you fight for your family, you fight for people that you love, you fight to make to make their 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 future better, and then you lose them like that. Oh no! Wow. It's never that tired. That child go to primary school. He's never going to take that child to school. He's never going to sit. Man, it's crazy. It's unfair, bro. It's unfair. It's unfair. It's just this is a sad news. This is a sad. It just makes everything useless now. Boxing everything else. This is a sad news, man. This is sad. Now, wow, man, it's hard to hear this. Anyway, guys, 
Thanks. I appreciate it. God bless you all. Uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Right now, man. Let me process this because he's bring, bringing some memories, you know, back. Bring some old memories back. It's crazy, man. Twenty Over 20 years ago, I lost a friend, a, a shadowed friend. You know, he was, uh, was shot right in front of my house. Then, you know? But this is a little bit different because this is like a young a young gun, 18, 18 months. 18 months. We literally just talked about in Ghana. I didn't even know this happened. You know, we literally just talked about in that, oh, why does he want to go? Yeah, 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 but yeah, we did, we did. We, oh, man, we did, we did. We did. Imagine. Now, wow. Ah. Okay, let me give a shout out to the people live that came, that joined us live. Big ups to my brother, CMD Bossing Report. Bro, you've been a supporter from day one. I'm subscribed to your channel, but somehow I don't get notification. I don't know why. Because your your take is very unique in a way. The way you like address and uh, address uh, and talk about uh, uh, topics is very different from the usual the usual um, guys. Your boxing channel. Yeah, bo yeah, CMD, yeah bro. He's very knowledgeable. He's CMD has good. been has been a support, bro. That guy has been a supporter yeah. of this channel for a long time. Yeah, yeah, that's my, that that my brother, bro. I'll, I'll and I didn't, it's, it's funny. I didn't know it's from. He it says from Philly, so basically the same city as uh as uh Jerome Bo both Ennis. Yeah. Damn man, that was legendary right here, bro. Yeah. 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 Yeah.